Hi, today we are going to talk about my current favorite succulent that is tangled heart plant also called as pillow plant and the official scientific name is Plectranthus prostratus. It's also called Swedish ivy. They are native to Africa. It's a very small succulent that also grows beautiful small flowers. Very rare. I haven't had my plant grow flowers yet. I bought this plant quite some time back from a local nursery. Initially I went for a turtle vine. Instead I got this plant. They had only one of them left and I think it was barely 100 rupees, Indian rupees. When I picked it up it was fairly okay like it was not very long in length now it's surprisingly growing well i thought that the plant would not survive this extremely hot humid weird weather of kolkata to my surprise it did it did and that's why i'm making a video about this now to show you how it was before and how it is now and this is one of the succulent that will truly survive the indian weather it doesn't need any maintenance compared to other plants like string of hearts, string of pearls, string of turtles, I've tried all of them. <laughs> they have all died, but this guy is very resilient. Click on the big red button below the video. So let's talk about growing and caring of this tangled heart plant. Tangled heart plant is very surprisingly very low maintenance and it's very easy to care for and grow. Their vines sometimes reach the floors of the balcony and that's how they propagate themselves actually. So if you are hanging the plant somewhere and there's a pot at the bottom it will try to reach down to the soil to propagate more and more of the plants and oftentimes i've seen in my garden without me putting in an effort of propagation it propagates on its own and how does it do that i think there are a lot of birds that come in into my balcony and, and sometimes some of those pieces of plant get transferred from one pot to other uh, section of the balcony and voila there are various plant pots where I randomly find tangle heart growing suddenly without any effort. I don't water it every day. I water it with a gap of at least one day. And if it's a rainy season, I do water it every two days or three days sometimes. Like the lesser you water, the better because it stores water in its leaves. It's a succulent. In my experience, most of the cacti and succulent like to be in light and sun. But... This guy surprisingly gets yellowed if uh, it goes in sun. Plant has shallow root system, meaning that it doesn't need a very deep pot. It uh, came in for me in a very thin with plastic pot and it's still there and it's growing immensely because it has shallow roots. You can trim or prune it back and then again it will grow various branches. It will grow very thick bushy branches and the more the plant matures, the plant will start to have the base of the stem become a thick stem. It will be like a woody stem. That means it's maturing. And the more it matures, the harder it is to kill. And this happened for me in six to eight months. The roots are shallow. You can pot it anywhere in any pot. And you don't need much of a bigger pot or very deep pot for it to plant somewhere. So let's talk about watering conditions. As I mentioned, I don't water it every day. I do water it every alternative day, even in very severe summer. And it, I try to avoid watering, especially during the monsoon season that is currently there. And it, it kind of survives well in that kind of watering schedule. It doesn't need that much of water. It's kind of amazing. It doesn't need any maintenance at all. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I like literally, literally have not cared for this plant and it has grown. I do spray water. I have a hose pipe. So I do spray water on the vines as well that falls down. That way it keeps it clean and at the same time it doesn't let the dust accumulate on, on it. Even though I don't water the roots, I do uh, spray it with water regularly whenever I water the other plants. Talking about the soil, soil, of course it prefers well-drained soil. I think the soil that was given from the nursery in the small pot is actually a very well-draining sandy kind of soil. It survives well in that. Now let's talk about sunlight. This is one of the mistakes that I did initially and the mistake that I did was I 
actually initially in the hottest of summers i did not move it from my east facing balcony right behind me some of the parts of the vines got yellowed and i was worried that maybe it's like it's becoming like all the other succulents that die because in the extreme heat i just figured that it would not do well but surprisingly even after some of the vines became yellow due to direct scorching sunlight it doesn't like direct scorching sunlight uh, let's say but east facing window normally other than summers is very good place for uh, it to grow in scorching summer move it to a bit of shaded area where it doesn't get uh, direct sun it loves bright indirect light that's what it is about the lighting conditions of this plant and yes the leaves will turn yellow if you put it in direct sunlight now let's come to my favorite part propagating as i mentioned before in the video propagating is so easy so i had some of the branches uh, you know fall off or dry off when it becomes very tall sometimes the branches break off and it was just lying on the floor and i just picked it up and put it in an empty pot that's it and i kept on watering that no rooting hormone nothing no cutting no pinning i just put it in a pot and left it alone i used to water it every alternative day similar to what i watered the mother plant and it grew new plant and i'm not kidding this actually happened i was surprised by that as i was very surprised by that uh, on how easy it is to propagate the succulent just don't let any branch fall off if any if if the branch even looks dried up and you know very shriveled up even then don't throw it away just put it in a pot and it might give you a miracle seriously and as i mentioned that it got propagated automatically by other means of animals and other people visiting my balcony i have found pieces of this plant in my zz plant which is on the other corner of the balcony everywhere even if a small piece falls down it kind of grows into a plant so it's that awesome so yeah you just need this big cutting put it in a pot multiple cuttings and then just put it in a pot and you'll get a brand new plant in a few months down the line so let's talk about most common problems of the plant yellowing as i mentioned earlier can be sign of overwatering as is with most generally all the plants and yellowing in this case in this plant is also a sign of direct sunlight scorching bright direct sunlight the leaves are getting burned up but it recovers very well from that as well even if some of the branches get yellowed it did recover quite well and the new growth was plump and green and all of that haven't had any pest problem on this plant till now Till now, no pest problem whatsoever. I do spray it normally, like I spray all the other plants, occasionally once in a month with neem oil and soap solution. I just spray it, but no problems with pests till now at all. Not even a single mealy bug or anything I've spotted till now. Price, I would say, price of this plant in this, as I mentioned before, it was barely hundred rupees. I bought. months ago and a beautiful healthy plant i went for a, a total wine but instead got tangy heart wine plant so it was fun i am really glad that i picked it up from the nursery even though i did not get the plant that i went for but this was a very happy plant acquisition and 100% recommend it if you get it anywhere in your local nursery thanks for watching hope to see you in the next video we talk about plants in general in this case the plants in indian weather are supposed to do in this kind of weather it's kind of fun talking about plants and if you enjoy plant content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and show your love uh, ask if you have any questions in the comments below about this plant or any other plant queries i am active on facebook and instagram you can message me there follow me there there are a lot of plant pictures if that's something that interests you and short content like uh, which doesn't deserve a full youtube video i usually post it there a live plant updates and all of that so you can follow that those pages those are linked below in the description click on the big red button below the video thanks for watching see you bye